guys i am coming on here to do a quick life update for you um first off i am doing 12 days of christmas right now i hope you guys are enjoying my videos i am basically just playing catch up i have so much footage on my hard drive that i am just trying to get through and edit and go ahead and upload those for you guys um but other than that i am just here working and doing youtube basically so i'm just gonna go ahead and tell you guys something since my last life update video which was when i was living in suwon and teaching at an elementary school then since then a few things have changed so let's go ahead and get right to it all right, so the biggest thing is that I don't live in Suwon anymore. And a lot of you that do follow me on Instagram or Snapchat probably already know this, but I now live in Gangnam, Seoul. I was never one of those people that was like, I have to live in Seoul. I can't wait till I move to Seoul. I hope I find a job in Seoul. I was never that type of person. Um, if anything, I just wanted to be kind of like on the outskirts of Seoul, just so that I can have easy access to Seoul for the days that I did want to come here. Um, I like this city but I'm I've never been like a huge city girl I do like the country as well so moving to Seoul just kind of happened you guys um, to be 100% honest with you guys I was planning to leave Korea like that was what I thought was gonna happen but the good lord upstairs had something else planned for me so what I basically did was First off, I was not going to apply for another job. I was like, I'm done living in Korea. I'm ready to go back. Um, and it, it, it's because of many factors. But um, I basically, a friend hit me up and was like, yo, my district is looking for teachers. Um, it's a really good district. She just really hyped it up, hyped it up. So then I was like, you know what? I'll apply. If I get the job, then maybe I'll stay in Korea one more year. If I don't get the job, then I am packing up and getting up out of here. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I got the job. Yep, definitely got the job. And when I got the job, I literally sat there and I thought about my life. And I was like, <laughs> do i want to stay here another year like do i is that what i really want to do like i couldn't i don't know i really just i honestly just put it in god's hands like not to get completely religious on y'all like i really did so when i got this job i was just like you know what maybe it's there's a plan for me there's some reason that i'm supposed to stay here another. okay so of course moving to another city means a new apartment so this is my new apartment it is nothing like suwon oh my god i miss that apartment so so much like uh, when i was apartment hunting i couldn't help but to compare every apartment that i looked at to the one i had in suwon so it was a little bit difficult i'm not even gonna lie but i found you know i found a decent one like this apartment is a lot smaller than the one in suwon but it definitely is good enough for me i will be doing an apartment tour like i always do uh it's just gonna be a little bit later so like with the move i also started a new job thank god um there's gonna be a video about my last job and just how i don't know how i made it <laughs> i don't know how i made it through my last job some of y'all might not know this but it was an honest complete unbelievable struggle to make it through my last job and i just like i don't know i put on this face this strong face that i was all right and that i can do it and that i'm gonna make it through and i did <laughs> i really did but y'all it was a challenge so moving on i have a new job you guys i have a new peaceful heavenly job i am so blessed i can't even begin to explain how blessed i am at this job so first off i'm at a middle school y'all something that i tried to avoid for the past four years was to work at a public middle school I've heard horror stories about middle schoolers and I was not trying to experience that at all. So 
um, when I applied for this middle school job, I was super hesitant. I was like, I don't know about this, but my friend, she's just like, girl, I promise you it's gonna be good, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, you know what, okay, I'll try. I'll see what happens. Y'all, best decision of my life. This middle school is legit heaven sent. I don't know what's wrong with these students. I don't know why they are such angels. I don't know what's in the water in our school, but these kids are perfect. And I do mean perfect. None of them are disrespectful. Trust and believe I have not one disrespectful student. They are, there are some that just don't care about English, but 98% of my students are wonderful maybe 99 percent i'm just gonna go ahead and stop talking about it now because i can talk about it for a whole video of just how grateful i am for the school that i'm working at now it's a public metal school you guys in gangnam a public metal school in gangnam i don't even know i'm going to talk more about my last job because i really didn't talk about it at all and i want to tell you some of the problems that i experienced working at a public elementary school and how I almost didn't survive it. Um, the other thing that's new with me is that I am an intern for Corvia. Corvia is a recruiting company um, for teachers um, that want to work here in Korea. I worked with them once and they are amazing and with the school that I worked at before this job I went through hell <laughs> at that school and I called my recruiter and she talked to me, she talked to my co-teacher and she just really tried to mediate the situation. Um, so they are awesome. I love the, the people that work at Corvia. So I do highly recommend this recruiting company. Um, their website is corvia.com so what I do is I make video content for those who are interested in coming here as a teacher and the videos are basically just whatever I want to talk about um, to help teachers have a smoother transition. Other than that, can't really think of anything else that's new with me. Oh, there is one more thing. I am working on a new kind of video for my channel. Um, most of you that are on my channel know that I'm a very tall girl. I'm 6'3", about 190 centimeters tall. And I wanna start making videos that are gonna cater more towards tall women or tall people in general. Um, I do get a lot of comments about being tall. I get a lot of questions about being tall. So instead of commenting or responding back to those people individually, I do want to just make videos about it. Um, just to kind of, I don't know, help my tall girls out there. Cause a lot of the things that you guys are commenting on or asking me are things that I've also struggled with uh, when I was younger. Um, now that I'm getting older, it's getting better. I do have my moments though, which I'll talk more about in one of my tall girl videos. So I am thinking or preparing a new series and it's gonna be called The Tall Talk. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please continue to check back to my channel every day for 12 Days of Christmas. There are more vlogs that are coming. There's only one more week left, so. Hope you guys enjoy these videos because I will not be posting every day forever because this is not easy. This is not easy at all posting every day, y'all. That's crazy. I don't know how, I don't know how daily vloggers do it. Like, posting every day is not easy. It really isn't. <laughs> all right, you guys, take care and I will see you in my next video. Bye.